In this video, we are going to create an MCP server for Reddit. And we are going to test and debug how the MCP server works with MCP inspector. And we are also going to install it on our cloud desktop and see how what type of questions we can ask. Okay, so that's what we are going to do today. So if you run your MCP server with uh, in development mode, this is what is going to pop up. In this, you get a few things that you if you have coded up coded it up then you can see resources resource templates and tools so what i've done is i've created four different resources so if i want to go and check how the resources work so if you see i have done this and it just gives me the response same goes with reddit status also but then if i have a template that i need to ask so i can go and ask about a particular user that's reddit info so if i go and say bamboo lab let's see if there's something like this inside this right so bamboo lab and we get the description and everything over here right so subscribers and all those things if i go for a particular user let's say i go find my name it will give all the information about me so if you see, I have 336 karma link and is gold, whatever the response is for that. So this is the resources that you use, but then I've also created some tools. So if I go here and choose the Reddit search, so based on a query, let's say if I want to search about animation of characters, something like this, and I, will, I know a subreddit animation that has all this relevance also based on this query, it will look inside this subreddit for different posts that are related to the same thing let's see if this works or not so it did give me a response by a per particular person so it says in a live action remake of Leland Street, the alien character whatever that post is about uh, on reddit so let's go and check whether we can see what it was right so if you see this was like four months ago but it is related to animation of different characters so that's how the response is but then i can also ask also some about a particular subreddit also and it would give me all the recent post inside it so i have these three tools here and that's how you can uh, debug your and test your mcp server and if you want to use the same in cloud i've already done that let me show you that so so if you go and check what you need to do for a particular question that you want to ask based on your MCP server, you can come here and check. So I've asked to give me my Reddit account details, the same thing that we did on the inspector as well. It will go and fetch my information and give the response here. So if you see this particular tool was running and it gave, gave me. So this was my re recent posts, which I did in January. I got only one vote and which I've created a something related to 3D printing. That's what I've created. And but then I've done something in 2022, which was which got like 698 upvotes, right? So this particular uh, tool is getting executed, which you can see from here as well. So once you do an MCP install the file name of your server or file name, the Python file name, you can see that these three tools are available for execution. OK, so this is one example. I can show you uh, other one also if my, I have that right so if i ask anything like recent posts on 3d printing clocking issues which is very common in 3d printing so if you see it went to it first ran the tool reddit search and it got me a response also but then it was let me be more specifically for 3d clocking and extruder issues then it went again and found some information again then it also was smart enough to understand subreddit for recent clogging discussions then it went to another tool and gave the response so it goes and goes and goes and once it finds a, a relevant answer for the question it gives you the response since i'm using a free plan for cloud i uh, came across this maximum length of this con conversation was ex executed so i need to try again right but then uh, you can see the response was given it would just be similar to how it was here just the length of this conversation was uh, quite enough to not give me that error okay so that's how it works now let's go and look at the code so we need to install mcp mcp cli and mcp client server these are the installations that i need to make 
this is a token from reddit api i'll i'll mention uh, another video who has given a good explanation of how to create a token of your reddit api i'll put the link of that video in the description below and just you can just take it i think it is also there in my github this particular repository on how to do it okay and i have an open api key that i have a couple of credits left so i use that then how, how the code works is you create a data class for Reddit context. It could be anything in uh, since we are making API request for this particular MCP server. We just need to have a client which which does the API request. Then we have the uh, async context manager uh, which is required. Where you can have your client do stuff which is very common and you would just get this in the documentation itself and you can just take it. The main part starts from here. So this is where you create the MCP server. So you assign the, you import this fast MP, MCP, you give it a name, put the dependencies if you have a database as your source, since this is a API request, we have HTTPX, but if it's a particular database, just put whatever dependency you need to install for this particular MCP and it works. This particular lifespan comes from here, okay? So that we just uh, delete and close the client once we're done with it. Okay. Then we have uh, some to format the post. That's fine. Then format comment. That is also fine. You can just check this out. And this is where it, it is actually making a Reddit request. So when I ask a question related to my details, it will go to this auth reddit.com and hit the endpoint, whatever the endpoint is. And it will give me the response. So I think I have it in my postman. So if you see, if I go and hit this, I think I need to copy my new key. So if I hit this particular response, it will give me the response. Let's send it. So you, you see particular post or data, whatever, whatever I have, and it gives me how many uh, karma I got for that particular post. So that, that's the response. So this is getting actually getting hit and the endpoint keeps on changing based on the user's request, which the LLM is able to intent. Uh, the, able is, uh, the LLM is able to understand from the input query. That is the intent of the query. Okay. So this is where the API request is executed. Now the main part, part is how the tools are created. So it's good that if you have a function already in your existing application, you can just add MCP tool and have this up here you add this decorator then this acts as a tool and then you can pass whatever you want right so i am passing a query the subreddit is optional so if i ask a query it can guess get the posts related to that query and if it is smart enough to understand that this particular query would be existing in us in a subreddit then it will also add the subreddit to it just the way we saw for animation of characters in the video right so it will do that sort and then these are just other uh, things that are for formatting and endpoint creation this is where it is actually making the request the posts are getting formatted this is where you are using the above function we get the result and we return the json and we, this particular tool is executed right so this is what i am doing for each and every function that i have created so i have created two three tools that's why i have three different mcp dot tool decorators added to three different functions you can just check how the code is it's actually just making an api request and then you can just modify based on what the requirement is if you have some complex queries the user might ask you can just change the function okay so these three tools is what i've created simply use the uh, decorator then we have the dynamic resource and there are some static resource also so static resource is what we were uh, actually seeing on the inspector but the dynamic resource is what we were actually typing in the inspector which takes an input and gives us the resource. Why do we need these resources? Because we can have this auto-populated or whenever your application op opens up, this particular data executes or the static resource executes and gets the context before we ask a question. So it becomes easier for the LLM to understand that, hey, I need to make this, uh, use this as a context uh, based on the input query and get the intent. So it would just give you accurate results. Right? So these are the resources that are uh, used and you can just add a decorator MCP resource and have it ready. When you open the inspector, you can see it over templates, resource templates. So this is what we have done for the dynamic resource and these are the ones as static, right? So that's how it is. It's a very simple code, one file works great. 
good for understanding and a first a good head start if you're building your own mcp server for your organization for database which do not have access to the external internet to the internet and it is within your own organization it gives a way of working through it right to run this uh, it's actually two commands one would be uh let me check if i have it here so one is mcp dev mcp server.py that's the name of the file when you run this the inspector opens up with this local host inspector is created in react and you can just use it this is the proxy token that comes up with it and if you have to install it then i think it is this command mcp install mcp server.py when you do this it will get installed in your config file of your cloud desktop let me show you that too so if you go to settings go to file settings developer this this is where it is getting uh, executed if you do edit config it would be at your desktop location where you installed your cloud desktop and if you open this i think i have already opened it so this is the one so when you run that command this particular section gets added i do have two more different mcp servers for the file system and github which i was just trying out but then if you run that command this is this is the part that is going to get added in your config file right so that's how you configure your cloud desktop and that's how you use the inspector as well the good thing is if you hover over the run you can see the different transport methods so right now this is standard input output but then you have streamable http and the server side events as well you can do that right now i showed you in standard input output but you can experiment ag across uh, different transport layers okay so that's how it is it's a very simple code mcp resource mcp tool then you have a, a mcp dot prompt and there are other things also that you can try out okay so once you have created your mcp server uh, you would like to access it one of the good things is that if you have an agent an ai agent that ai agent can talk to this particular mcp server so i've done this as well so let me just delete this and uh, let's let's understand how this is so if you have worked with crew ai if not you can uh, watch my previous videos which is an end-to-end -end project on it support analyst it support bot which is uh, a crew ai agent that can answer questions related to your internal it databases and that's how that works and i've created that with crew ai agent so that would help you understand how this particular agent is created so this particular agent is also created with crew ai so if you see this is the uh, part where the agent is created this is the task defined for the agent and that's the crew that we assign on the agents in the task we kick off the crew with an input query so if i say give me information about a subreddit ender 3 it would go and check if an mcp server is running or not and check the tools whether it is it has some information about it and run this right how is it accessing the mcp server is part is over here all the server parameters and the tools associated with and you assign all the tools to the agent now this particular agent has all the access to the mcp server tools that we just saw right to run this i am doing in standard input output so i'm just giving the python uh, the python command and the arguments is with the server file which we have it here and the environment it, it should run in right and then you get this so let's try to run this uh, i hope it works So if you see it was able to load all the tools that we have on the mcp server the crew execution has started then we have the uh, reddit researcher as the agent which is correct and the thought is action use this particular subreddit using this particular tool subreddit ender 3 sort hot limit 5 and it was able to get the response once it get the gets the response that's all the response uh final answer here are some of the latest posts of subreddit ender 3 because that was the question that we ask right if you go down it says task completed and the crew has been completed and this is the final reason that you got so you can access the mcp server across uh, using an agent the good thing about it is you don't have to create the tools again and again so if you have a use case and a lot of people or a lot of teams in your organization would be creating those tools you don't have to do that the good thing would be that you just tell you have an mcp server and all all of them just add the tools over there and anyone in your company or anyone outside can just use those uh, 
tools rather than creating stuff in silos right so that's one of the advantage so it's a standalone framework that allows and gives a standardized standardized uh, standardization way of creating these tools and agents as well right so if you want to know how the how mcp works i do have a video that i've already made before and how mcp works and how to connect it with your cloud desktop using uh, the github and the file system file system uh, mcp server that's what i've already done in the previous video so you can check that out i'll put the link in the description below and that's what i wanted to show you in this video i hope you learn something uh, i'll also put the code in the description it's in my it's in my github i'm happy if you guys want to contribute and make changes to this all right thank you so much